Hello everyone and welcome back to Beatly Tones Beatles channel. Lovely to have you here. Thanks for joining me for this video and I hope you're all doing well. And welcome to episode two in my series of deep dives into the Paul McCartney archive collection deluxe box sets. Now, if you didn't see episode one, which we looked at Venus and Mars, uh, don't worry, there'll be an end card at the end of this video that you can click on and go back and watch it. But if you don't know the whole concept of this series, uh, it all came about a few weeks ago when I did a video where I compared the price of each box set when it first came out to the price that they are now. And this showed that there's been a huge increase in the prices of these box sets and people were saying on that video that I'm looking for McCartney 2 or I'm looking for Ban on the Run and that sort of thing. So I thought I would do this series to show everyone if you are thinking about buying one of these or you're you know you're missing one and you need to need to get it to complete your series, what you get in the box because they came out so long ago that no one can find the adverts that tell you what was in the in the box originally so I'm gonna literally show you everything that you get within the box and then if you're looking for one of these box sets then you you can make an informed decision about whether you want to pay the astronomical price that they are today so I'm going to try and do one of these deep dive videos into the McCartney archive collection box sets every two to three weeks so there should be just about enough time to get one more episode in before the revolver box set drops and we all get completely immersed in that for a couple of weeks and then I'll return to it afterwards. Now in today's video I'm going to be looking at this one Wings at the Speed of Sound which came out in 2014. It comes in this sort of hardback book style just like Venus and Mars rather than a, a you know a deep box with lots of bits and pieces inside it now during the video i will be showing you this book it's a 111 page book i'm going to show you probably about 100 pages of that so you get a really good flavor of what's in the book i'll be showing you all the artifacts that come with the box set i'll show you the cds and i'll be talking about the bonus material both audio and video and then at the end of the video i will show you the wings at the Speed of Sound uh, Archive Collection double vinyl LP uh, that came out at the same time. At the end of the video, I'll tell you roughly what you might have to pay for one of these if you're looking for it. What I'm not gonna do in this video is actually review the album. I have done a deep dive video into the Wings at the Speed of Sound album and you can find that as an end card at the end of this video if you want to know what I think of the album itself. Right, so we've got a lot to get through, so let's get on with it. So the set itself comes in this hardback book style. As I said, it's not a, a, a laminated front like Venus and Mars, so you don't get all the fingerprints that you did before. From the side, it looks like that with Paul's signature on the side. They all have those and the pages are sort of colored red and the back cover replicates the back cover of the uh, of the original album and that's my number 5194 i'm not sure how many were made of this uh, but let's go and have a look at the book at this point in the proceedings you might want to expand your video to full size so you can get a good look at the contents of the book because it's quite tricky to film okay let's get the book open the contents and this first picture here on the left is paul signing autographs uh, outside the tour tour bus in manchester England 1975 the beginning of the world tour the first leg and there we have Paul and Linda on the bus and on the left here 
we have the band in Perth, Australia doing a press call. And on the right, the stadium that they played in Perth showing the sold out sign. Here we see the band enjoying the sunshine in Brisbane. Uh, Jimmy in his speedos and Denny not standing on ceremony with that champagne bottle. Linda with a koala and Paul with a snake at Queensland Zoo in Australia. Rather him than me. And this photo was taken in New Hampton. Well, both these photos were taken in New Hampton. And then we're back in Scotland at Rude Studios in Campbelltown rehearsing. That, I believe, is Stella. And I think that that is Mary on drums. It's difficult to tell because it's blurred. And there's Paul with his Fender jazz bass on the right there. Nice moody picture of Paul with his bass. It's obviously a cold day because they've got an electric fire there. And one more there of Paul. And now we move on to the recording of the album Abbey Road. Joe English there on the left. And here we have Paul sort of conducting the orchestra. I think that that was for Silly Love Songs because it tells you that he conducted the orchestra on the, uh, on the notes at the back of this. And here we have Denny on bass with the string section probably doing the note you never wrote. As usual, Paul likes to jump on the drums and there's a shot of him in the drum booth there. The bit where they swap instruments. It's Joe English on guitar and Paul on drums. Linda doing some vocals at Abbey Road and Paul on his double bass with his acoustic and Paul and Jimmy looking back at something. Jimmy looks really cross about something there and a nice shot of Denny there with his acoustic. Some more recording shots. Paul this time on his Rickenbacker bass. And this shot here on the left was taken at Checkpoint Charlie, where they were doing the photo shoot for Silly Love Songs. I used to have a wrap over cardigan like Jimmy's wearing there around that time. Very nice it was too. Well, sort of. It was the 70s, be fair. This was the shoot for Let Them In taken down at Chelsea. We notice here Denny with a little hip flask and a fag. And Paul there on his harmonium on the left. And then in this rice paper, we've got some handwritten lyrics, which I'll get out and show you. So, she's my baby with a picture of a horse for some reason. Beware my love. Must do something about it. Silly love songs. Let them in. Some more lyrics to Beware My Love. and some more lyrics for Silly Love Songs. This nice sort of parchment-y type paper for these. So now we get all the information about the songs and this is done for this box set in the form of an interview with Barry Marl. He went down to Paul's house in Sussex for a, a listen through of the remastered Wings at the Speed of Sound album and he interviewed Paul and spoke about each of the songs and there's also some quotes from 
Danny, Lane and Joe English as well as we go through the songs. There's some sheet music there for Let Em In and Silly Love Songs on the left and Time to Hide and Sand Ferry Anne on the right. And here's some more hand ly handwritten lyrics for Let Em In. And you notice in the middle here, there's some lyrics for Pure Gold and scholars of Ringo's solo catalogue will recognise that song that Paul wrote for him for the Ringo's Roto, Roto album. Always hard to pronounce that one. And some track sheets that just basically tells you which instruments are on each track of the mixing desk. No, you never wrote and she's my baby information and this illustration for beware my love appeared in the wings at the speed of sound sheet music book and likewise this one here for wino junko and this uh, this drawing here of the silly love songs at the berlin wall was done by humphrey ocean who has kind of worked as wings sort of uh, artist on on tour and stuff like that and this was kind of used on picture sleeves and promotion for silly love songs and here's the full full picture of the band uh, at checkpoint charlie the berlin wall and here we get a, a reproduction photograph of that from that shoot of silly love songs Checkpoint Charlie looks really grim, doesn't it? Back in the bad old days. Must do something about it. And there on the right, we have the master tapes for the album. And the She's My Baby illustration again from the Wings at the Speed of Sound sheet music book. And now we get into the information about the bonus material. On the right here, we've got various uh, picture sleeves from the Let Em In and Silly Love Songs singles from various places around the world. Uh, that one is from Japan and that one from Belgium, that one from Germany. That's the Let Em In 12 inch from uh, France. Uh, again, Japan Let Em In single there and a German let them in there. And now we get on to the photo shoot. Now a lot of people were um, disappointed with the sleeve design for the photo shoot. But when you go, when you realise how much effort they went into uh, to making it, you appreciate it a little bit more. This picture here is uh, Linda up with the hypnosis team uh, on a cherry picker going up to the... Um, the Odeon Leicester Square, the, the board where they advertise the films, which is what they what they did. There's the close up of that. And here they are taking down the letters of the film that is showing at that particular time, the return of the Pink Panther. The Odeon Leicester Square is kind of the 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 prime cinema in London's West End. It's where they used to have all the main premieres of all the big big films and uh, they did this shoot at two o'clock in the morning when all the people had cleared away from Leicester Square and uh, quite an adventure and here the guys are putting the wings at the speed of sound letters up where the return of the Pink Panther once was and there we have the final sort of sleeve that we're kind of used to seeing here we have the pictures from the inner sleeve of the album and again this picture here from uh, Humphrey Ocean uh, features Ian Jury just there. It's Humphrey Ocean used to be in a band with Ian Jury back in London in the uh, mid 70s. Um, And here's the sort of the photo shoot from the, the back of the album sleeve where we just get the, the faces on that sleeve. But here we see the full photo with bodies and everything. Danny Lane, Jimmy McCulloch. 
and Joe English. This is Paul's hand drawn idea for a promotional TV advert for the album. And now we're back and starting the promotion of the album. They went uh, to Mark Square in Venice uh, to do a sort of a charity gig. If I remember rightly, the, the, the square was sinking under the water and they needed a big restoration project and Wings did a gig and I think they gave all the money to the, um, to the fund for the square. And this on the right is the band in a gondola. It's a moody picture of Paul looking through the balcony of his hotel room. And this is Paul doing press conference in Venice. Now this rice paper here also included uh, a poster which uh, regular viewers of the channel will recognise as being the poster that's on my wall behind me in my man cave and also one of the stickers for Wings Over Wembley. This is the other one. And here is a replica ticket for the Wembley show, or one of the Wembley shows. On the back, we always used to get this little sort of map of the arena to show you where your seat is located. This is the, it, when it was called the Empire Paul Wembley, it's now called the Wembley Arena. Some rehearsal shots for the tour. This is Paul and Linda in Copenhagen. And doing some more press here. I don't know why Paul's wearing his sunglasses indoors. Oh, yes, I do. It's because he's a rock star, isn't it? Some more press. Danny with a bottle of beer. He did like a drink, Danny. And now on to the, the, the sort of shows. Or the, I'm not sure if this is from... I think this is from Paris. This... Uh, this shot here, the acoustic part of the show where they all came to the front of the stage, sat on chairs and played acoustically. And this is Paul again in New Hampton. And now we get on to the lyrics section. So all the lyrics from the songs printed out very nicely. And you, you remember that you don't actually get the lyrics with the original album. And uh, here's all the information about the remastered album uh, who does what on each track and then we get some information about the bonus audio and the bonus film which i'll go through with you in a minute and then final finally another shot of paul uh, on his farm in campbelltown and here we have the 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 discs here in the kangaroo pouches and that is your book for those who haven't seen the channel before that poster there is the one that is included in this box set that I mentioned when I went through the book. So, okay, now I'm going to go through the bonus audio. So there is only one disc of bonus material and sadly there are only seven tracks on it. It lasts about 22 minutes. Uh, the first track is a demo of Silly Love Songs. Uh, that's just Paul on piano and vocals and Linda on backing vocals. Uh, then we get the demo for She's My Baby, just Paul on his own. Then we get Message to Joe, which is just a message to Joe English, 24 seconds, that is. But then we get the absolute jewel in the crown of the bonus audio, and that is Beware My Love with John Bonham from Led Zeppelin on drums, and it is an absolute belter. Uh, then we get the demo of Must Do Something About It with Paul on vocals, which is an interesting listen, and we get a demo for Let Em In, and then we get the demo for Warm and Beautiful, which is just instrumental. And that is the bonus audio, that's all you get. So on to the bonus film that you get with it and this has just got three items on it one is the full video for silly love songs clocking in at about five minutes 45 then you get a 13 minute film uh wings over wembley features the song silly love songs 
let them in and beware my love. It's quite interesting, uh, but nothing fantastic. And finally, you get a little montage called Wings in Venice with Warm and Beautiful playing over the, the, the footage, but there's no audio apart from that. So before we move on to the final, I'll just show you the discs that come with it. That's the remastered album. And the, uh, the remastered audio. Each label is just slightly different. and the bonus film uh, before we move on just a couple of other things that you get in with it uh, a download card with the wings at the speed of sound sleeve design on the front and the information about previous archive collection box sets that have come before this and what's coming next in this case it was tug of war and pipes of peace they were much better organized back then they knew what the next uh, editions were going to be and they told us about them not like the cloak and dagger that we have these days is it going to be back to the egg is it going to be london town etc etc okay let's move on to the vinyl so the vinyl looks like this the familiar archive collection strip down the side with paul's signature there it's really thick heavy cardboard uh, feels really good and sturdy the back of the sleeve is the same as the original um, but we get a gatefold on this one now and which is um, this side of it are pictures from the uh, the archive collection book that I just showed you and then the rest of it is the uh, the original uh, inner sleeve that you got with the album and it's not a double it's a one and a half album you might be puzzled by that but I will explain it in a minute okay so the the vinyl is obviously uh, 180 gram vinyl as you would expect very nice indeed and it comes in uh, an inner sleeve with the lyrics, which we didn't get in the original uh, release back in 1976. And that picture on the other side. Then the bonus material uh, comes on disc two. Uh, on side one, you get all seven tracks that are in the, uh, the CD box set so there's no bonus material missing when there's only seven tracks it would be hard to do it but the other side of the uh, the album is just this etched uh, wings at the speed of sound I'm not sure if that's going to come through on the video I hope it does um, it looks really nice but you can't play it and uh, the inner sleeve for that on one side is the same as the original 1976 album with Humphrey Ocean's uh, drawing with Ian Jury. And on the other side is his picture that you saw in the archive book of the uh, Silly Love Songs uh, drawing at the Berlin Wall. So that's your LP version. So just summing up my thoughts on this box set, for you i think that the remastered album is excellent they've done a really really good job on the remastering of this it does sound great but the bonus audio seven tracks is not very much when you take into consideration one of those is just a spoken message but it does have that john bonham beware my love on it uh, the bonus film just three items comes out at 22 minutes this is not great for bonus material compared with some of the other archive edition box sets in my opinion now apologies to overseas viewers for quoting prices in sterling um, but it's just easier for me to do that and you're perfectly capable of doing the maths and converting it into your own local currency but when it came out in 2014 it cost 76 pound which was okay for a box set around 
that time and compared with box sets these days, I suppose it's okay. Um, but when I did my comparison video at the beginning of August, I found that out of the 13 box sets that have been out in this series so far, Wings at the Speed of Sound came out fourth in the biggest price jump from when it was originally released to what you would pay for it now. Now, what would you pay for it now? Well, in that video, the research told me that you would pay around £280 for a Wings at the Speed of Sound brand new. I did find one that was used at around £190, but that is a huge, huge price jump. Uh, for not very much extra material. The book is very nice, but if you're only buying these box sets, you know, just to get the audio, you can just as well buy the vinyl or the double CD and you'll get all the extra audio if you're not worried about the book and the film and all the artifacts and all that sort of stuff. So if you are looking for Wings at the Speed of Sound Archive Collection Deluxe Box Set to complete your collection or just to add to your collection, uh, it is a huge price to pay. And since I did my video in August, the price may have gone up a little bit. or may have gone down a little bit. I'm not sure because I haven't done a recheck on the prices. Um, but there are some out there, probably eBay or Discogs are the best places to look for these uh, box sets. Um, if you are looking on eBay, just beware, or, or should I say, beware my loves, just beware of uh, copies that look really cheap coming out of Japan. There's quite a few of those on eBay. If, they, if the price looks really low, then it's probably a counterfeit. It'll probably be a really good counterfeit if it's come out of Japan, but it will be a counterfeit. So just beware of that. Okay guys, so over to you. Please tell me down in the comments what you think of the Wings at the Speed of Sound Deluxe box set if you already own it. If you don't already own it, uh, tell me what you think of it now that you've seen in this video everything that's in it. Has it made you want to get the, the box set or has it made up your mind that you don't really need this at all and you would make do with the double CD or the double LP. I'd love to hear from you. I always want to hear your thoughts. You know, I always read all your comments and respond to all your comments. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you do like what I do on this channel, please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, everyone please give the video a like and hit that notification bell and you won't miss a thing. I'll be doing another deep dive into another archive collection deluxe box set in two or three weeks. I haven't quite decided which one I'm going to do next, but there will be one coming along very soon. So thank you once again for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.